Hey, everybody. Um, welcome to our second recorded mat workout here. Today will be a little more advanced um, and we'll be doing some regular mat work uh, mixed with some of the reformer on the mat exercises. So for those of you who did some small group training, you know what you're in for. And for those of you who are just jumping in, um, yes, welcome to some new exercises. Um, just a quick note, because it's much nicer for me to talk to you guys rather than send an email. I know I uh, had high hopes last week of doing two videos for you, <laughs> but I actually got really sick. Um, nothing uh, virus-wise, but just uh, came down with a pretty bad infection and was, was dead to the world and everybody for like at least two days. It was pretty uh, rough. And I'm just now feeling better. So all is good and I'm excited to get back. But no, I've been thinking about you and uh, I missed you last week. And I plan on from this point forward doing one recorded video a week. That seems to be a reasonable, um, what would you call it? Cup to fill, I guess, uh, or order to fill um, with the way our family schedule is going. It just works easier, honestly, for uh, me right now to record rather than do live classes, just based on the sheer nature of the stress I feel if the kids are around. I love them to death, but when I'm filming for you guys, I like to make sure it's just for you. So um, it's easier for me to find a time to do that uh, with a flexible op option, you know, and not set every week. So uh, I apologize for not offering any live classes right now, but for now, hopefully these videos will do. And again, I plan on sending you each week a new one. So what you'll need for this workout, because I'm not there and we're doing some more intermediate advanced stuff, I can't be there 100% to cue you into safety, right? You could be thinking you're doing it right and then the next day be pretty sore. So you are going to be using a towel. A uh, simple dish towel will do. This is my kid's paint towel, so it's dry, don't worry. But yeah, grab yourself a dish towel. If you have an excessively nice lordotic curve it's called or a natural arch in your low back you know if you, if you sort of naturally sit here you might want something slightly bigger or fold it more but what you're doing is essentially i've heard this cue from a wonderful teacher michelle larson i'll give her credit here i didn't come up with this but you're essentially bringing the floor to your spine those of you who have experienced this with roll-ups who previously couldn't do a roll-up and then add a towel and voila you can do a roll-up it's for that very reason you've brought the floor to your spine. So if I'm trying to do a roll up and I get to this point and I feel stuck, the body's going to want to tuck. Well, if I'm tucking, you're technically bringing the spine this way and you're trying to go that way. So you, in this instance, you've brought your spine to the floor and you get stuck. Well, if you bring the floor to your spine, right? One, it feels glorious. Two, you sort of have something to imprint into, if that makes sense, or push off of. Um, so yeah, so this is a godsend for those of you who have trouble with the roll-up. Um, folding it is necessary. You're also going to be using it because we don't tuck, right? It's old school. We don't tuck our pelvises anymore, but we want our backs to be safe. You can essentially kind of try to tuck into this towel, but it won't let you because the towel's there. So you'll be pulling your muscles in because we know that we want to tuck even if we shouldn't be. But the towel sort of prevents you from actually moving the bones or moving the pelvis into a tuck. So it's sort of a self-correcting tool. So this is your at-home trainer, since I can't see you, all right? So to start, I'm gonna have you start standing and I'm gonna give you a close-up of my feet. Let me set up my clock here so I know I don't put you past 45 minutes. So when we do recorded videos, they're only about 40, 45 minutes because an hour's long, not in real life, you know? Okay, so you're standing tall, your heels are together, toes are apart, and they are this distance apart, right? Go ahead and bend your knees, and then press yourself tall. And just start to get those joints bending. Little ballet work for you from your never in a day took ballet teacher. Um, just get the joints going. Now here's where we start to get this concept of wrapping, right? It's tough to see with the color differentiation here, but you're, you're wrapping the thighs. So if you're just bending your knees, that's one, but if I wrap, watch how much wider my knees go. You can use 
the bars behind me to measure, okay? So we bend. Then when I wrap, look at the gap between my knees. It becomes a little wider. So you actually create more space. And then when you squeeze, you sort of start to get an engagement here. Look at that side, right? Wrapping the thighs. So what goes from just a genuine or kind of mindless knee bend becomes this massive engagement of all your leg muscles, okay? So we're wrapping the thighs. Do a couple more. This is gonna set us up for our footwork. Wrap, and one more. Press and wrap, okay? Now bring yourself down to the mat. We're gonna go through just these basics. So when we go through the workout, we don't have to kind of stop every time. You're gonna place that towel underneath your low back, not under your pelvis, but under your low back. And then reach the arms long by your side and float one knee up into froggy tabletop at a time. Good. Now place both hands on the abs and then press the legs out to the point where you can keep your abs engaged towards the towel and then bend back in, okay? So you're pressing, you are doing exactly what you just did on the floor, but this time with a much deeper bend. We didn't squat this low, right? But to keep your abs from screaming at you, <laughs> we bend the knees all the way in. So you get a little break. Two more, abs deep, press, and bend in. And this time, press and wrap the thighs. So there's this heel squeeze that happens. You know, if you have a little extra cloth to put between the heels, I call that squidgy, and you just squeeze your heels together into that little squidgy. So there's an awareness of the heel connection to the abs. One final time, press as you wrap the thighs, squeezing the heels together, and then bend your knees back in. Bring the knees together. Lower one foot at a time. Okay, keep the towel there. Stretch the arms behind you. Stretch the legs long. Flex your heels. Good. Reach your arms to the ceiling. And the last thing we've got to set up is this upper body, okay? So inhale to lift the upper body. Stay there and then plug the shoulders on your back. All advanced cueing. Lower the head and shoulders back down. Reach the arms up. Inhale to lift your head and shoulders. As you exhale, plug the shoulders on your back, deepening your abs towards the towel while pressing the heels away. And then lower your head and shoulders back down. One final time, lift your head and shoulders on an inhale. Exhale, plug the shoulders, stack the hands behind your head. There we go, float the right knee into tabletop. Float the left knee into tabletop, heels together, wrap the thighs and the knees, and then press the legs all the way out. Good. Arms long by your side and begin pumping vigorously. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Right away, you'll know if you need to bend your knees back in, right? If you're working on progressing from bent knees to straight legs, you can kind of do maybe a couple repetitions out here, a couple here, okay? But in any case, all of us at all levels are breathing vigorously. You inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three. Emphasizing the breath. Make sure you get all five breaths in and five counts out, right? It's one continuous breath, but for five counts and then exhaling for five counts. Last three, and you have me recorded. I could be completely wrong with my reps. I usually am, but that's okay. Last two, big exhale. One more time, big inhale. Big exhale, deep in the abs, keep plugging the shoulders, get all the air out of your body, a little extra squeeze. Then with control, bend the knees in, lower your head and lower one foot down at a time. Straighten the legs all the way out and reach the arms away from the heels. Now we go into our roll up, reach the arms to the ceiling, squeeze the heels together. Inhale to lift the upper body. You float up, exhale, plug the shoulders and deepen as you come up. Yay for the towel, breathe everything out. We inhale to go, to go back, this time we'll stack our spine up. And then exhale, plug those shoulders, you just saw it right here on the video. All the way down, release. Inhale to lift the upper body. Big exhale, plug the shoulders, deepen and come up. 
touch stretch and breathe all your air out. So you use that full exhale to roll all the way. A little more advanced. Inhale to step, hinge, and then as you exhale, plug the shoulders, press through the heels, and roll back to that glorious towel. Inhale to float up. Exhale. Now we're using, again, one exhale to get all the way there. I want you to stay in your C curve. Stay in your C curve as you inhale. Feel how you lift out of your low back. Exhale, plug the shoulders deep in and roll all the way down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, plug the shoulders deep in and come up. Inhale, going back. So you're lifting, but you're still in your C curve. Exhale, roll all the way down, breathe out. And one final time, really focusing on your breath. Big inhale, even bigger exhale. Squeeze all your air out, AKA all of your stress out. Inhale, inflating with fresh air. And then a big exhale, plug the shoulders deep and floating the arms a little higher, all the way down and release, arms long by your side. Okay, float the knees in the tabletop. Good. Extend the right leg up to the ceiling and bend. Extend the left and bend. Extend the right and bend. Extend the left. Now hold there. Straighten the right leg out. You're going to hover this leg above the floor. Reach your arms to the ceiling. Lift. Stack the hands behind your head and do your leg circles here. Now you have the towel to pull into. Right? I'm only going to do three each way. This is ridiculously challenging. And pull up. One more. How stable can you be? Now reverse. That lengthened leg above the floor is your standing leg. Two. Breathe out as you pull up. One more. Inhale. Big exhale. Pull up. Lower the head and shoulders. Bend that knee and flip the other knee up. Good. Extend the left leg and bend. Now all of a sudden this becomes work, right? You're deepening your abs into the towel, but you're not tucking the pelvis, yeah? and bend, extend, and bend. This time extend your right leg up to the ceiling, press your left leg out, hold. Lift your arms, lift your head and shoulders, and the hands behind the head, and we circle across, down, up to the right, and exhale, pull center, and across, down, big exhale, and pull center. One more, big exhale, and pull, now reverse, out, down, big exhale, and pull up, two more. Deepen those abs, deepen those ribs, one more. Big exhale and pull up, lower your head and shoulders, bend the knee, bend the other, and then lower one at a time. And if you haven't found your abdominals just now, please stop right now and email me because I'm so curious as to why you haven't found your abdominals. Really, mine are on fire and I'm the teacher. Stretch. You can also just start the video again and just keep doing it until the abs wake up, you know? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, reach your arms to the ceiling. Inhale, lift your upper body. As you exhale, plug the shoulders deep in and pull yourself all the way up. All right, you just worked really hard, so let's roll like a ball. Now, towel can stay there if you feel like your rolling will land you in the right spot every time. If you kind of roll all over the place, one, you can work on that, two, Move the towel so it doesn't hit the wrong spots of the spine, okay? So we come back to our basics from the very beginning. We turn our feet out this distance, and it's not just passive. There's an active wrapping of the knees. The action of wrapping the knees comes from deep inside the hip socket, deep inside the bum, okay? So you're trying to wake stuff up there, especially in this posture, because otherwise we just collapse into our joints. So we wrap the knees, we lift. Grab underneath the thighs and see if you can pull yourself a little taller. Do you see that? What's cool about this porch is you can actually see me moving off the line. You try that at home. <laughs> now, we've got this huge lift. Stay lifted, but then C-curve your ribs back and float your feet. Whew, it's tough to balance, okay, to do it right. Plug your shoulders. We inhale to massage back. Exhale, come up and balance. Keep that wrap. Pressing the heels into each other will give you a much more stable feeling. Exhale, come up and lift. Last two, wrap up. And lift. 
And one more. And lift balance. Wrap the knees together, lower the feet, and set your towel up right underneath your low back. And we're going to bring ourselves down. Adjust the towel as needed. I need to adjust mine. Just to the base of the ribs. Now, I'm realizing mine's a little too fluffy. Stack the hands behind your head. This is where we go into our first reformer exercise, the footwork. Float the right knee and then the left knee into tabletop. Now, wrap the thighs to do heels together, toes and knees apart, right? You inhale to press out like you're doing a leg press and then bend your knees back in and press. It's that first exercise we did. And then exhale, bend back in. You can also exhale on the way out. That's a little bit easier. Inhale, bend back in. One more time, exhale. And by one more time, I mean one more time slow. And now we flow. Press out and pull in. Press out, pull in. Two more. You're holding onto your center despite all this drama. Press out and pull in. Knees together, lower one leg at a time, lower your head and shoulders. I didn't show you the modification, but the modification would be the heels on the floor. I don't have a slidey surface here, but if you're on carpet and or have socks on and are not using a yoga mat, you do that exercise on the floor, okay? Most challenging is out and hovering above the floor. A little easier is up in the air, right? Next position, reach the arms to the ceiling. Inhale to lift the head and shoulders, stack the hands behind your head. Float one knee at a time into tabletop. This time the knees stay together, toes pointed. Press the legs out and bend the knees back in. And press and in. If you cramp in your feet, flex for a moment, but then try to go back to working in a point. We're trying to build the muscles in the foot. Cramping means that they haven't been worked in a while. One more press, not at this range of motion. Now we flow, press out and pull in. Imagine pushing into resistance. Two more, right? We're not just throwing our legs out there. This is Pilates for crying out loud. Control your body, lower the leg, lower your head and shoulders and release, okay? Straighten those legs, deepen the abs towards the towel at any time you can break, you know why? Because I can't see you. That's not a get out of jail card. I'm just saying, you can do whatever you want, but if you actually want to get stronger, join in. Float one knee at a time into tabletop. This time, flex the feet and we go right to flow. You press through the heels and pull in. Press. Now, as you're pressing through your heels, you're deepening here. Again, your options. You can work on the floor, right? And pull in, press two. Actually, two more here. Press out and pull in. One more. Get those shoulders off the floor. I know they want to sink. I don't have to see you to know that. Or everything down. Let me fix my mat. Okay. Our very last one. Here's the action of the foot. Whoop. Your point and flex. Point. All ten toes flex back, right? You point through the arches. You flex through the heels. I say the toes flex, but I want you moving through your ankle joint. Point through the ankle, flex through the ankle, okay? Now, a couple options. On the floor, okay? Knees bent into tabletop, or for the full-fledged Pilates effect, the legs extend all the way out, all right? So, let's start together, arms to the ceiling. Inhale to lift the upper body. Now remember, plug those shoulders so you're out of your neck. And then stack the hands behind your head, keeping your chin off your chest. That's just a given, but I'm reminding you, right? Float the knees into tabletop. So here's option, right? Point and flex. Point and flex. So you can extend the legs. Extra credit, right? Point and flex. You hold on to your center even though the challenge has moved way far away. Last two, point and flex one more. And flex, bend your knees in, lower one leg at a time. 
lower your head and shoulders and stretch because you deserve it. Oh, it feels nice. You can even let the ribs just pop up, right? Your six pack muscle attaches. To be honest, all of your ab muscles attach at this bottom ribs. So usually we feel a lot of work through here, right? So stretch that area, let the ribs pop. Point the toes, flex the heels, really become aware of those ankles, right? Just never really get a lot of attention. Now zip the legs together, arms to the ceiling, and then inhale to lift your upper body. As you exhale, press the arms down, plugging the shoulders and lift yourself up. Nice. Let's do a little spine stretch action. So legs go the width of the mat. Okay, we did this in the last video. It's a classic mat exercise and beginner exercise. Let yourself slouch. And pay, if you're watching the video to start, pay attention to my spine and the bars behind me. When I lift, your spine goes up and slouch. You might find something in your house where you can relate to as well. Like you're looking at a spot on the wall, but when you lift through your spine, oh, you know what? My eyes come higher. That's what you're going for, right? Lifting out of the low back, hinge forward, drop your head, and then hollow out your abs. You just work them, so you might still feel them. Flex through the ankles to deepen your calf stretch, possibly hamstrings, and then stack your spine up. Big exhale. Inhale, stack your spine up. Good. And then a big exhale. Inhale, stack your spine up. I want you breathing to it this time, to be honest, right? So, so take it easy. Exhale. I want you to find your center, and I want you to breathe at the end of the day, despite all these fancy moods. The two things you need the most, in my honest opinion, your breath and your center. <laughs> Let everything go. All right. So at this point in the workout, Mat work, as well as at some point in the reformer, there's an exercise called corkscrew. So we don't do it a lot in mat, but we're gonna try it here. And I want you to use your towel. So there's corkscrew where your spine moves and there's corkscrew where your spine doesn't move. If you have back issues, you will do the version where your spine does not move and the towel will give you feedback. If your spine is fine and dandy and you wanna try and move your spine, you'll join along with that one. All right, so arms down by your side. Float one knee at a time into tabletop, and the other, okay? Now we'll start here, everybody's doing this. The knees come towards your chest without crushing the towel. Your bum is still anchored, okay? And then the knees go back over the hips. Pull the knees towards you. You deepen your abs, yes. Do you move your pelvis? No. And then the knees go back. Now, knees come in. Knees together circle to the right. They circle down, they go to the left, and then you come center, reverse. Now as the legs are moving, your goal is to stay connected to the towel at the same intensity, right? So as your knees circle, you go to the right again. As your knees go away, right, your back's gonna wanna leave the towel. You stay connected, use your core, okay? And reverse, knees go to the left and down, around, and pull center, okay? You continue with that, if that is work. If you wanna work on a little more spine flexibility, you can extend the legs, you pull the legs towards you and peel your bum up off the floor, right? We roll down, but we roll down the right side of our spine as the legs go to the right, around, to the left, and then we roll up the left side of the spine. And we reverse, go down the left side of the spine, you'll feel the towel, kinda helps around and pull up on the right side one more each way go down on the right around over to the left exhale pull center and reverse and around over to the right exhale pull and then through your center roll all the way down right bend your knees lower one at a time 
and then straighten those legs. We're gonna roll up to sit up. Inhale to lift your upper body. Plug the shoulders as you exhale and come all the way up and release. Nice. This is our saw next. Look at that view. Hopefully my feet are clean. I think they are. I had socks on all day. <laughs> okay, so saw. Let yourself slouch. You can watch the bar behind me now that's horizontal, right? Watch where my head goes. Whoop, right off the top. See how much slouch your spine will give you? And then see how much lift your spine actually has in there. Okay, and slouch. One more time, like a corkscrew, opening up a bottle of wine. The arms go down, the cork pops up. Hold that, twist to the right. So off that pinky toe and your hand comes up like this. Scoop your abs. Inhale, stack up. Twist to the left. Big exhale, anchor that right hip. Let's use our breath, inhale. Keep inhaling as you twist and then as you exhale, it's like your abs pull in to squeeze all your air out as you stretch. Inhale, stack up, twist, and a big exhale, deepening. One more each way. We inhale, lift, twist, and the big exhalation as you deepen. And inhale, twist, and a big exhalation. Oh, all that air out. Lift, zip the legs together, reach the arms, and then bring yourself back, plugging your shoulders so you lift as you go back for three, for two, all the way down one, and then flip over onto your front. That towel now, make it a little less fluffy. I think for everyone, this kind of fold would be the best. Okay, because you're just gonna use it as a little indicator. It won't be like supporting per se. It's more like me coming around class and throwing my hand under your abs really uncomfortably and saying, pull in your abdominals. It's much nicer when you're at home with a nice towel, right? And we're social distancing, so it's very safe compared to me jumping in there and saying, get your abs up off the floor, okay? So your hands stack, your forehead glues to your hands. And as you exhale, deepen your abs up off, okay? I'm exaggerating it, but I really don't even want to see this move too much. I don't want you changing the shape of your spine. No, no, no. You're just deepening the muscles. You barely see mine doing it, but they're doing it, believe me. Your abs just pull up off the towel, okay? Now hold that. So this is an exercise on the reformer called pulling straps. We're gonna work on a variation. So your arms go straight. Walk the fingers as far away from your toes as possible so your shoulders really shrug. Press your hands from the floor and then plug your shoulders on your back as much as you can, okay? Let the shoulders hike. Press your hands into the floor as if they're cemented there. And then draw your shoulder blades back like you're dragging cement. Oh, there's some resistance there now. Otherwise, you're just doing this and it doesn't mean anything. One more time, reach those hands away. Press your hands to the floor, cement them down, and then resist the drag as your shoulder blades anchor on the spine. Now push your arms down and lift your chest as much as you can, keeping the elbows straight. Lower back down. Press the arms down, plug your shoulders, and this time, everyone, deepen your abdominals off the towel. Lifting two, lengthening your neck one, lower down and release. One final time, press. Now hold this. Now we go into what's called T pulling straps. Float the right arm off the floor. Float the left arm as well. And then the arms come by the side, down by your thighs, and you lengthen the back of your neck as you deepen your abdominals off the floor. Reach the arms out to the side. And then reach the arms up by your ears, lengthening. Now, if your legs have lifted, your low back's doing everything. Let the legs go, pull your abs up. Arms down to the floor, reach up, press into the floor, lift. Let the legs go. Now float the left arm off the floor. Hold it, and if you can, float the right arm off the floor. This is so hard to do. Pull the arms back. You're essentially using your upper back muscles to lift the weight of the arms off the floor. 
And most of the time, those muscles don't do anything because the low back and the neck try to do everything for you. Traps, neck, low back, everything overworks. If and when you start to get this in the right spot, it'll be between the shoulder blades, the abs, and where everything down, let the head go down, and nothing else, really, okay? But that's what we're working on. One final time. Press the hands down, plug the shoulders, lift your chest up. If you're just starting with this, it might not feel like much, right? Depends on your body. Now try to lift both arms up on the floor. Pull the arms out to the side. Pull the arms back and lengthen your spine, deepening your abs so your legs are released. Reach the arms out. As you reach the arms up, plug the shoulders on your back. Lower everything down, sit back on your heels and stretch. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Good. And then stack your spine up. And we're gonna flip onto our backs for an exercise called breathing, which will bring us into chest expansion, which I love on the reformer, okay? You're gonna lie down. Knees bent, hip socket distance. Oh, and yeah, towel, not necessary, but kind of nice to feel maybe parts of your back you're not aware of. But I wouldn't go too thick, unless again, you have a really big low back arch. So bring that to that low back. Lying down, knees bent, and arms by your side. So looking up towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale here. And exhale, let your shoulders and head and spine and light, everything just be heavy. And tuck your pelvis under and pull your low back to the floor. And then slowly start to roll your spine up. Right? So it's just like a bridge Pilates style where we're mostly aware of our spine. And now start to imprint between the breastbone, kind of in between the shoulder blades, I should say, rolling down, and release completely. Do that one more time, slow. Tuck your tailbone under, imprint into your towel, like a little booster seat. And then slowly roll up, making your pubic bone the highest bone in the torso, right? Your ribs will want to do something like this if you have tight hip flexors or a tight low back. Get the pubic bone higher by deepening the tuck. Your knees will be the highest point in this whole length. If they're on a straight diagonal with hips, shoulders, into the floor. This time, float the arms up, pull between the shoulder blades down to the mat, rolling down releasing the pelvis on the floor. This time, add your breath. Inhale, press the arms, lift the hips. Pubic bone, still highest bone. Then as you float your arms up, you breathe out and roll down one bone at a time. Two, release one. Inhale, press the arms down. Inhale, lift. Now hold your breath here. Float the arms up. Big exhale, imprint, and roll down for three. Rolling down two, rolling down one. Inhale, press the arms down, lift your hips. Holding that breath, can you hold it? Float the arms, big exhale, imprint, down through your spine, two. Deepening the abs, one. Last time, inhale, press and lift. Now hold here. You don't have to hold the breath, but hold the pose. Keep this stable, right? Knees, hips, shoulders all aligned. Now just try to extend one leg the height of the other. And then bend that knee. See if you have to adjust your pelvis to stay square. And then extend the other leg. I'm putting my hands here to remind myself where to hold this work. You can do if you'd like. Bend that knee, see where you're at. One more time, now stabilize this pelvis. Now we work here, right? Extend, lift this leg up 
And as you flex the heel, pull down like you're pushing through the air. Point to lift, flex, and pull. See if you can find your bum muscles. Put your hands there. One more time. Point to lift, flex, and pull, deepening your abs. Bend that knee. Keep your hips square. Extend the other leg. Point to lift, flex, and pull. Point to lift, flex. Can you feel it back there? One more. Lift, flex. Your abs are still working, by the way, so you can feel it here. Bend that knee. Hips up, arms float. And this time, breathe out as you roll down one bone at a time. Release the hips completely. Very nice work. Extend the legs. So that chest expansion version will come back in a little bit. Breathe out for a very fancy version of sidekick series today. All right, lift, and then let yourself slouch. Okay, so we're going into a series called stomach massage. This works best, again, if you have um, a slidey surface, if you have socks on. I'm moving my yoga mat because it's anything but slidey. <laughs> and if you'd like, if you find that you're very tight in your hips, you're going to want to sit on top of something for this. So a bolster, if you're a yogi and have one, um, a couple pillows, something a little more substantial than a pillow though, like a cushion would be perfect. You can sit on your little towel, which is a little bit of help. This exercise is called, again, stomach massage. And what we're doing here is this very deep C curve while the legs sort of pump back and in. We're gonna be sliding on the floor to start, which will feel like nothing. And then we're gonna try and lift our feet up, which will feel like everything. And you won't like me anymore, okay? So our hands are kind of almost right underneath the knees maybe in line with the thighs, depending on the length of your legs. And guess what? You have that Pilates V, fist distance between the toes, and we wrap the thighs that we can lift. Now lightly hold the floor, knuckles down or fingers, and C curve your stomach and abs and everything in. Press the legs out, flex the heels, point the toes, and bend back in. Press out, now see if you can find your glutes by wrapping the legs and bend your knees in. Press out as you lift out of your low back, flex, point, and bend in. Now you continue there. If you want that extra challenge, you float the feet up, like rolling like a ball, right? Press out, flex, point, and bend in, and press, flex, point, bend in. Last two, press, flex, point, Plug those shoulders. Oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten that key? Flex, point, bend in, lower the legs, and lift out of your low back. Ah, next one. On the reformer, you put your hands back on the shoulder pads and have something to kind of lift you, okay? We don't have that, but you can work with the floor. Bend your elbows. I'm telling you, the lower back your spine is, the easier it is. Plug your shoulders so your shoulders are safe. And we start on the floor. Wrap the thighs to press, flex, point, bend in. As you press deep in your abs, you're gonna need it. Flex, point, bend in. Press, flex, point, bend in. Now the challenge, can you lift your feet up? Oh my gosh, this is so hard. You wrap to keep yourself stable, right? It's vital, it's not just a cue anymore. You have to do it or you're all over the place. Bend in, last two, press, flex, point, bend in, one more, and press, lifting out of your low back, flex, point, bend in, lower your feet, this time roll yourself all the way back, move the bolster <laughs> before you do that, straighten the arms, straighten the legs, reach your body, take a deep inhale, let your ribs float. And then as you exhale, let everything go. Okay, so now we come to chest expansion. So this is where you really have to kind of use your imagination per se, create resistance. I had a teacher call this psychodrama, like create something out of nothing, just make it dramatic because you need to create resistance because we don't have a reformer in everybody's home to use to find the resistance, right? So. I'll have you set up your towel if you don't have a cushiony mat. 
you're gonna kneel. Now, this choreography is just like our breathing exercise with bridge. You inhale, press your hips forward so that pubic bone is in line, right? Arms come back. We're not going back here. We're pressing our shoulder blades back while deepening our abs. And then we float the arms. I need you to see my head in this too because you do a little bit of a neck stretch. A little bit better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're here. So this is me kind of slouchy, right? We start here. We inhale, we bridge our hips forward, abs and shoulder blades pull back, and we hold our breath. And then exhale, release. Now we add a head turn. Inhale, press, lengthen, hold your breath. Turn your head to the right, and center. Keep holding your breath. Turn your head to the left, and center. And then exhale, release, like all of it, let's go. So deep inhale, right? Inhale, very strong. Hold your breath. Turn your head left this time. Turn your head right, still holding your breath. Look center. Big exhale. From. Inhale, press. Big inhale, hold your breath. Look right. Look left. Look center. Exhale, release, right? Creating resistance. Imagine pulling on a straw. Inhale, hold your breath. Look left. Holding your breath, look right. Hold your breath, look center. Then exhale, release. Nice. We're going to stay up in this posture and do something called kneeling sidekick. This is an advanced mat exercise. Um, you can still use your towel if you'd like. I'm going to show you from the side to start, and then I might. Sorry, I'll show you from the front to start and then I might show you on the side so you can understand the principle. But I call this the I'm a little teapot start, okay? So we've got this chest expansion posture where the hips have pressed forward, ribs deepen. So I say it not so you just pause and watch me the whole time. Do this while I'm talking, right? Push your hips forward, deepen your abs. And then guess what? Your spine goes vertical out of that, right? So the neck lengthens. Do it one more time. Hips forward, abs deepen, lengthen, because this next exercise doesn't work if this is out of kink, right? Or out of sorts. So hold on to that, all right? So hips forward, abs deep. You should feel your glutes and your abs. Now we, I'm a little teapot to the side. We tip over, boop, hand to the floor, and your thigh is in line with your spine, okay? Now, push your hips towards me, deepen your abs, this hip now gets a little bit of a stretch, okay? Hold here. Now extend the leg and bend. Extend, deepening the abs, hips stay forward and bend. You can make a fist if the hand is too much, hold there. And now just lift the leg and lower. Turn the leg out if you need a little more, you know, openness in this joint. Point to lift, flex and pull, abs deep. One more, lift. Flex and pull. Lift the leg up and hold here and draw circles. Eight, seven, hold yourself steady. Four, three, two, change direction. Eight, hips are forward, abs are deep and neck is long. Three, two, and one. Bend that knee, deepen your abs and tip back to your center, right? So we go to the other side. Hips forward, abs deep. Do it with me. Thrust. <laughs> abs stay deep. Now go vertical through your spine. It's not just about this. You then have to lengthen or else you're kind of crunched up. It's the opposite of what we want. Now I'm a little teapot, the opposite side. Tip over. The thigh lifts the height of the body. Deepening the abs, tuck that pelvis. And we start here and we extend the leg. Then we bend. Deepen the abs as you extend. And then with your hand back here, you can press your head back as you plug your shoulders. And then we lower the leg and lift. Again, turning the leg out will give you more freedom in the hip socket. One more time. Lift up and hold it there. And then deepen your abs, draw circles. Eight, seven, six, five. Hips forward. Three, two. Change direction. Circle eight, seven, six. Five, abs deep, four, three, two, and one. 
bend that knee deep in your abs, hips forward, and tip the scale Whew. back up. Stretch back. I didn't get a chance to show you from the side, but if you repeat this workout again, what you're looking for is that, you know, if I'm tipped this way, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's like knee, hip, and shoulder align, just like you would be in bridge. And if I wasn't looking at the video, right, your ear, shoulder, hip, and knee would all be in alignment. So despite what the leg is doing, the spine doesn't change. Always the case, right? Old news. Okay, so now we come to teaser. I'd set your towel up, okay, low back, folding it fluffy if you need a little extra floor. And you're almost there, by the way, we're almost there. Okay, so lying down on your mat, stretch your arms and legs away from each other. We're gonna set teaser up like we, uh, or sorry, using the footwork exercise, okay? So arms will reach to the ceiling. We're actually gonna start with the knees in tabletop, wrapping the thighs so the toes are in Pilates V, right? Fist distance between the toes. Inhale to lift the upper body. Plug your shoulders, everyone. And then as you come up through the spine, you also press the legs out, okay? And then we bend the knees back in, resisting the air as we come down. Do that again. Inhale to lift the upper body, plug your shoulders. Big exhale, press, wrap, lift. Good, hold it. And then resist the air. It's like you're wrapping to resist the tucking. So you wrap the thighs to anchor the bum. That's what squidgy's all about. One more time in this way. Inhale to lift, plugging the shoulders. Big exhale, wrap the thighs. Pull up through your spine, now hold. Bend and extend. This is stomach massage, right? We already did this. Bend and extend. One more time, bend and extend, hold. See if you can lower and lift. This is the extra credit, pull, lift, wrap the thighs and lift, hold. Bend the knees, wrapping, plug your shoulders to put the brakes on. Whew. Lower the legs, straighten the arms and legs away from each other, and stretch. Ah, very nice. Bring the heels together, arms to the ceiling. Inhale to lift your upper body. Big exhale, press, wrapping your thighs and come all the way up. Nice. Flip onto your hands and knees. So there's a series, both in the mat, more advanced, and on the reformer called controls. Okay, it's all, right, contemplation as to why Joe would have called them controls, calls them controls facing front, controls facing back. We're gonna be doing controls facing front, but I can only imagine it's about controlling the body as we do this little pulse. There's this little like pulse, pulse stretch that looks like a calf stretch, Pilates style, okay? So that's the choreography of it. You know, you're in this plank position, you're pulsing, but there's so much more than that, okay? We're gonna be holding our plank, you can join me and I'll talk you through it. You will lift the leg, the height of your glutes, which in itself is hard if your back is tight. Lower that leg back down. Flip the other leg up, the height of your glutes, the height of your spine, without your spine, right? And lower back down. One more time, float the other leg up, deepening your abs, and lower back down. And the other side, squeeze to lift without your back changing shape. Lower back down, bend your knees and stretch. Okay, now we add the choreography. If the wrists are in pain, again, make fists, or you can work from your forearms, a little bit harder, but you can do it. Plug the shoulders. Deep in the abs, extend one leg back for a calf stretch. Without that spine changing shape, extend the other leg. Now, press your head back, still looking at the floor. Push your heart away from the floor and plug your shoulders. Lift your right heel, the height of your bum, and flex the left heel back twice and lower your right leg. 
lift the left leg to hide the bunk and flex back twice, twice, and lower the leg. One more each way, we pulse, pulse, and lower. Last time, pulse, pulse, lower, bend the knees, sit back on your heels and be happy that you've made it. Take a big inhale into your back. Big exhale, let everything go. All right, my dears, you're all finished. Very nice work. Um, so yeah, my goal is to get the videos done on the weekend and release them on Monday when you would normally have a class at Bavard Yoga. So that is my goal. <laughs> Notice it's Tuesday, but yes, for the most part, hopefully I'll release a video Monday morning each week. We'll put them on YouTube and uh, I might even look into doing like a channel so you just can go to the channel and pull up the most recent video. I'm still learning all that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're all doing great. I miss you a lot. Um, hope you're all taking care of yourself and this will help you do just that. So keep working out. Thank you for reaching out, those of you who did. Um, and yeah, I'll be sending you videos every week. All right, take care everybody. Bye.